It's a crowd so large, the room couldn't hold everyone. As concerned citizens converged on a building at HVCC in Troy tonight, worried about losing their birthing center. Yeah, for nine months now, people have demanded a face-to-face -face meeting with officials from St. Peter's Health Partners. As News and ABC's Tamara Starr reports, they did not hold back with their disdain for this plan. What you're seeing here is what happens when a community cares so deeply about something that they just don't stop. And I find it really shameful that it took you nine months to face us in person. An overflow crowd jammed into a building at Hudson Valley Community College tonight to protest the planned closing of the Burdett Birth Center. It's been a long journey, and it's our goal and objective to continue to be here for the community. But many disagreed since the closure would leave communities around Rensselaer County with no birthing center, something elected officials across party lines are trying to prevent. But they're taking their marching orders from another state, from a corporate headquarters, and it's distressing to me to see a not-for-profit organization acting like a for-profit corporation. We don't pay shareholders. Every cent we earn, every cent goes right back into care for our communities. That's what our board is instructed to do. Which is why staff from Bellevue Hospital and Ellis Hospital say they are worried that Trinity Health may find reasons to cut their programs in the future. We see the writing on the wall because when you say you're not going to do something, about five years later it comes down with a gavel. So we are aware of the way management works within St. Peter's and Trinity Healthcare system. But the panel from St. Peter's continued to reassure the crowd that the consolidation will only help improve services and include the midwifery model of care that's so popular in Troy to St. Peter's Hospital in Albany. We're going to integrate that beautiful model of care into St. Peter's Hospital. We're going to continue all of those services. Despite the community reaction, Trinity Health and St. Peter's still plan to move forward with the closure of Burdett Birth Center by June, unless denied by the Department of Health. Reporting in Troy, Tamara Starr, News 10 ABC. Tonight's forum on the Burdett closure held by St. Peter's in a much smaller space and for a much shorter time period than the meeting held by the state attorney general's office last September. Tish James had said the plan to close broke a promise made by St. Peter's at the time of an earlier hospital merger. Promises she said were made to the community, to donors and to her office and her office launched an investigation into the closure. St. Peter's representatives say they were voluntarily cooperating with the investigation until today, announcing at tonight's closure forum that James and her office are being sued by St. Peter's, its parent company Trinity Health Corporation, and hospital leaders. They say the AG's investigation has been a, quote, baseless and overbroad fishing expedition in furtherance of an illegitimate, predetermined endgame. Despite numerous interrogatories, depositions of our staff, thousands of pages of documentation, uh, despite all of this, uh, the Attorney General's office is still unable to give us a basis for the investigation, unable to tell us what, if anything, we've done wrong, which we've repeatedly uh, requested. The lawsuit seeks to quash what they call scorched earth subpoenas that St. Peter's claims are abusive and also requests an order of protection against the AG using information gained from what they say was an improper investigation.